It's a morning, Patricia. Good it's morning. A, it's one day after your surgery. And I'd love for you to just share with you your thoughts about why you had your surgery, your experience during the consultation that we had, the surgery that you had only 24 hours ago, and today that you're ready to go home. So can you just start as to what the problem was and what it was affecting you? The problem was stomach pain, which I had in April this year, uh, last year, sorry. Um, and then I had a very bad episode of pain and sickness in August, following which I was diagnosed with gallstones. I decided after consulting with the doctor and my family that I would first of all try a diet. See, a uh, low fat diet would help. This didn't. Not really. It meant I was um, losing weight to the point where I thought there's a bigger risk in my fading away than in surgery. Having spoken with Dr. Farid, who was extremely, I felt, competent, skilled, he explained all the difficulties and the benefits of surgery, what the result would be so well that I decided I would have surgery. Good. And how was your experience at the hospital and of your treatment that you've had in the last 24 hours? The treatment has been excellent. I had faith in the surgeon and when I met the anaesthetist I had faith and the anaesthetist. I knew they both knew their job and knew what they were doing. I had no fear whatsoever. And normally I'm a worrying person, mm. and I didn't. And um, the hospital staff have been extremely kind. Great. And this morning you're about to go home shortly. What is a message that you'd like to give other people about when you're trying to contemplate doing some surgery that has some risk attached to it when you have to consider what the impact is on your quality of life? Well, life itself is a risk. We don't know what life holds from one minute to the next. There's only one person who knows that, and he's not telling us. Um, I think you've got to weigh up your risks, obviously. If they are very great, and you would give it more consideration. But sometimes not doing something is a bigger risk than doing something. Good. And I think you don't know what tomorrow will bring, next week will bring, a month or a year's time will bring. And if you're elderly, your life quality is as important, probably more important, and to a young person. True. Okay, now after you go by the surgery, what's the one thing that you're looking forward to when you get home? Eating without fear. Excellent. Knowing I can look at something and not have to think, dare I risk having that or not? Should I not risk that pain coming back? Because the pain is excruciating. Well, it is a pleasure seeing you this morning on the ward round, Patricia, and I wish you well, and I look forward to seeing you in clinic shortly. Thank you very much. Thank you for what you've done for me.